right, so today's destination is Irvine, which is just east of Costa Mesa. It's well known for its businesses and our first stop, which is Diamond Jamboree. It's a retail center that's also known as Orange County's international dining destination. And to kick off our last day in California, we got a quick go around from Susie Wan about Diamond Jamboree. Diamond Jamboree, we call the international dining destination for Orange County. Uh, we have over 40 shops, more than half of which are restaurants that come from all over Asia, China, Korea, Japan, Vietnam, Thailand. We have an assortment of bakeries and um, dessert shops. So I think people who want to have a little bit of adventure outdoor, you're close to some of the other attractions yes. in Southern California. It's just, you know, a drive away, less than an hour usually. So first up, coffee at 85 Degree Bakery and Cafe. Let oh, me introduce what 85 Degree Bakery Cafe is about. Okay. Here uh, we have a bread section. Okay. And uh, please pick up your tongue and tray. Okay. And help yourself. Choose from over 60 varieties of fresh bread from savory to sweet. And also indulge your sweet tooth with cakes or pastries, bubble teas, and of course, coffee. Um, the most popular signature drink would be our sea salt coffee. Would you like to try? I would love to try. So sea salt and coffee. That's right. Okay. Uh, how does that work, yes. right? <laughs> so this sea salt coffee, we use the uh, espresso shots. And uh, the concept of using the sea salt is to bring out the sweetness out of the uh, coffee. So let's give it a try. So salt brings out sweet. That's right. The coffee beans are sourced from Guatemala, grained by hand, and each cup is Enjoy. served with an espresso shot made to order. And with all the choices at hand, wow. it's extremely hard to step away. You only you live, live once. once right? Yeah, you gotta, you try gotta try it. New. <laughs> up next, we headed to the Paper Lantern, where we met up with Valerie for a tutorial on how to properly eat a dumpling. So we first take the spoon here and a set of chopsticks. So when these come out, they are piping hot. So what I like to do is to grab one of these and stick it on a spoon. Okay. And then poke a little hole in it. Poke. See how all that juice comes out? Okay. And I like to dump the juice out to let it cool down a little bit. This is our house dumpling sauce. It's a mixture of a couple different secret things. Um, traditionally, we eat it with ginger, so mix some ginger in there. Okay. And then I like to dump the dumpling in that sauce and eat it over the spoon. Okay, whole, juice, dip, mm -hmm. chew. Got it. All right. How's it? Good? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Along with the dumplings, the Paper Lantern also offers sesame noodles, scallion pancakes, and spicy wontons. Makes for a perfect meal when you're on the go. And speaking of go, we were off to Pedigo. Pedal power! Ever see the town by motorbike? Well, Bob is about to show us. Um, electric bikes, they're just like a regular bike. Um, you can pedal them as hard or as little as you want, um, but they do have an electric motor and a battery to give you assist anywhere from no assist all the way to all assist without yeah. pedaling at all. Let's rock and roll, baby. My motto is uh, you know, helping the world one bike ride at a time. <laughs> I personally can get around faster around town on one of my bikes um, than I can in a car. I always have front row parking wherever I go. I'm in and out of parking lots real easy, and I, it's a part of the solution, not a part of the problem. Stick around as we continue our trip in Irvine, California. Welcome back to Yellow, Texas, where our next destination gives travelers the best views of Orange County. All right, so what once was a marine air station has now been converted to a park and entertainment complex that, get this, covers almost 700 acres of land and on top of that has a helium balloon. So we have a ton of ground to cover. Let's make our way around the Great Park. Cool. So the Orange County Great Park is supposed to be one of the greatest metropolitan parks of the West. Uh, similar to what uh, Central Park is to New York. Um, a huge draw is our iconic balloon, which is in the background. It goes up about 400 feet. People get a 360 degree view of Orange County, so you can see the beach, you can see um, all the cities surrounding and kind of the construction of the park. So right now it's very unique because they get to see how it's starting and what it's going to be built into, so you can kind of see the layout as you're up there. This is a gorgeous view, oh my goodness. And what's so impressive is how much land this place has. 
And lastly, the Irvine Spectrum Center, a retail area with its own unique spin on shopping and entertainment. At Irvine Spectrum Center, it's really lifestyle. It's kind of embodying the lifestyle of the Southern California ethos. We've got entertainment, dining, shopping. I like to say it's woven into the social life of our community. It's really just an incredible place for people to come, get together, have drinks, go to uh, shopping, dining, and entertainment. I must say, I love Texas, <laughs> and we want everybody to come and check out the lifestyle here. It's the same, but without the humidity. And as much as we loved our time and weather in sunny California, it was time for us to head back home to Texas. What? You think we come all the way out to California and not make it to the beach? All I have to say is two thumbs up to all the places we visited. Buena Park, Costa Mesa, and Irvine. If you need a place to stay, Avenue of the Arts is where it's at. So signing off one last time here in California. It's a big country out there. Get out and explore it. You know what they say, you only live once. We're coming home, Texas. See y'all next week. Liked what you saw on the show today and want to learn more about one of these fun locations? Well, be sure to check out Visit Buena Park, Travel Costa Mesa, and Destination Irvine for these Orange County hotspots, plus many others. And before we wrap up this special episode, we want to send a huge thank you to our friends over at Buena Park, Costa Mesa, and Irvine, California. Your hospitality was unmatched and we cannot wait to make it back. So if you have the chance to visit Southern California, definitely check out each of those special gems and tell them Yellow Texas sent you. That's all the time we have here today on Yellow Texas. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And remember, it's a big world, so get out there. You know what they say, you only live once, Texas. We'll see y'all next week.